Hello students, welcome to online edu class of science. Today we will start new chapter. Chapter number 13. Our Earth's Natural Satellite Part 1 Children, we all know that our Earth is the only planet where life exists. As it goes round the sun, that is revolution, similarly the moon goes round the Earth. The moon is the Earth's closest neighbor in space and also its only natural satellite. Now, you will wonder what a satellite is. So, let me tell you, dear students, that a satellite is an object which revolves around a planet. Many other planets also have their natural satellites. Along with this, we also send many man-made artificial satellites into the space that you will learn later in this chapter. Children, have you seen the moon? shining brightly in the night sky do you know the moon does not have any light of its own so you all might be wondering that then why and how does the moon shine so the answer is it shines because it reflects the light of the sun that falls on it one more interesting fact about it is that although it appears to be of the same size as the sun but it is smaller than the sun this is because the moon is closer to us than the sun. It is even smaller than the earth. The surface of the moon. If we saw the satellite images of the moon, we will come to know that the surface of the moon is rough and uneven. As you can see in this picture, there are millions of big round hollows called craters, which scared the surface of the moon. These craters are formed when pieces of rocks called meteorites dash into the surface of the moon. The moon is covered with dark grey dust. Children, can you guess the age of the moon? You will be amazed to know that its age is 4500 million years old, the same age as that of the earth. Now, let's see phases of moon. The different shapes of the moon as visible from the earth are called its phases. The shape during a particular phase depends on the lighted part that can be seen by us at a time on earth. The earth is surrounded by a layer of the atmosphere which absorbs the, a part of the strong heat of the sun and allows only a part to reach the earth during day. At night, it does not allow the heat of the earth to escape. Along with this, it also protects us from dangerous radiations of meteors which would otherwise have fallen on the earth. But when we compare these conditions with moon, we will find that there is no air on the moon and due to its absence, no sound can be heard on it. Without air, there is also no layer of atmosphere surrounding the moon's surface. So, there is no protection from the strong sun rays. There is also no water on the moon. The side of the moon facing the sun is extremely hot and the side away from the sun is too cold to support life. Thus, no life can exist there. Its sky is always black and there is no clouds to hide the sun. It is a lonely and silent place without any animals, plants or lakes. Children, do you know that the objects which are too heavy for us to lift on the earth can be easily lifted by us on the moon? This is due to the fact that the moon's gravity is one-sixth of the gravity of the earth. Landing on the moon Many space organizations of different countries tried to land on the moon and the first one to be successfully landed was American spacecraft Apollo 11 which landed on 21st July 1969. Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin stepped on the moon's surface while the third astronaut Michael Collins remained in the spacecraft to circle the moon and keep in the touch with the earth. Now children, let us learn about eclipses of the moon and the sun. An opaque object is one through which light cannot pass. When light falls on an opaque object, its shadow is formed. 
The earth and the moon are opaque objects. When the sun's light falls on the earth and the moon, their shadows are formed and they play hide and seek. Eclipses are nothing but the shadows of the earth and the moon. Eclipses are of two types, lunar eclipse and solar eclipse. Let's see them one by one. Lunar eclipse. It is also known as the eclipse of the moon. It occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon in a straight line. As a result, the earth blocks the light of the sun from reaching the moon's surface and casts its shadow on the moon. When the moon is completely in the dark shadow of the earth, it is a total lunar eclipse. When the moon is only partly hidden by the dark shadow of the earth, it is a partial lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs on a full moon day only at night time. Solar eclipse. It is also known as the eclipse of the sun. It occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth in a straight line. As a result, the moon blocks the light of the sun reaching the earth's surface and casts a shadow on it. When the sun is completely hidden behind the shadow of the moon, it is a total solar eclipse. And when the shadow of the moon hides only a part of the sun, it is a partial solar eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs on a new moon phase only at daytime. Children, we should not look at a solar eclipse with naked eyes as it can harm our eyes. Now, next we will see the moon and the tides. Although the moon's gravity is very weak, it has a noticeable effect on the earth. It pulls the water of the seas and oceans of the earth causing tides. Since the moon is closer to the earth than the sun, the moon's pull on the water is stronger than the sun. The water of the seas and oceans on the side of the earth facing the moon is attracted upwards. This attraction causes high tides. In the areas between the two high tides, the water forms low tides. The rotation of the earth causes two low tides every day. The intensity of tides vary with the phases of the moon. The highest tides occur at the time of the new moon and full moon. Children, the rotation of the earth causes two low tides every day. The intensity of the tides vary with the phases of the moon. The highest tides occur at the time of the new moon and the full moon. So children, that's all for today's class. Learn it properly. Thank you.